Hey everybody, welcome to Ottawa. It's minus 16 Celsius at the moment and I'm outside here filming myself for some reason. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at the small rig cage for the Sony a7 IV. I'm going to show you how it all fits onto the camera and how I've rigged it out for it to have a very simple setup so that it's easy for me to take everything apart and put it back together. Stay tuned. Let's have a look at the small rig cage for the a7 IV. On the top, as you can see here, are plenty of 1 quarter and 3 8 inch mounts that you can add any accessories that you would like. If you move over to the right hand side here, there is a cold shoe for a microphone or any other accessory, plus a strap holder. Then more mounts on the other side and a guided mount for an HDMI cable holder and other mounts. On the bottom, we have the screw that goes into the bottom of your camera as well as a tool with a screwdriver and a very small uh, allen key and more mounts of course and then this little section here that you can open up is so that you can open up your battery door on the bottom of the camera while it's in use and mounted of course another strap holder more mounts on the other side and another strap holder on the right hand side of the cage on your left I guess and then on the bottom, my favorite part of all, is an Arca Swiss mount for, which would be nice if this would be in focus, but it's an Arca Swiss mount for any of your Arca Swiss tripods and tripod mounts. Very useful, so you don't have to put yet another accessory on there. So let's put everything together. Up here we have some uh, NATO rails. And the purpose of those is so that you can put a top handle and a side handle on easily and slide them on and off. And then, of course, my HDMI cable holder. So I'm going to start by putting that on first. And that's very easy to put on because of these two guides that you can see here. And then you just follow those guides, screw that into the side. Very straightforward with this ridged screw that you have on here. And you just adjust it by putting that up and down. Then the first uh, NATO rail that I'm going to put on the side for the side handle, you can see that lines up easily. It makes it pretty obvious where to put it. And if you're wondering what those two brass things are sticking up, they're spring-loaded guides so that you can slide the uh, handle on and, and then not have it slide back off. You just have to push it down. So I'm going to get these on very quickly so you don't have to Watch me do it. Finally, that's done. And I'll put on the top NATO rail. Again, you can see where the holes are expected to line up. Be nice if I could keep that in frame. There you go. All of the NATO rails are on, or the two, and there's my top handle. Very easy to slide on. You just have to push down on the brass spring, push it over, and then tighten it up with the lever, and it's fully tightened right away. Same thing now for my side handle. I'll slide that up. You can do it from the top or the bottom. Put it in the spot that you want, and then crank it on tight. Perfect. Very easy. Now these two side screws are meant so that you can slide the handle up and down, adjust it to the height that you want. And you see the same thing on the top handle so you can slide it backwards and forwards. I have mine set up so that you can still see through the viewfinder on the camera while the handle's on. Something I had problems with with my last handle. And that's it. Let's get it on the camera. Setting up the small rig cage with your camera is quite easy. You just take the bottom, of, look at the bottom of the camera, you can see the thread that will slide into or screw into the bottom of the cage itself. You slide it forward and it stops where it's supposed to go. And then you can push your anchors out of the way and then use your thumb just to get it started to begin with. Then on the bottom of the cage itself you have a small tool that you can use as a screwdriver and you can screw the cage in nice and tight. It only takes a few turns and then it's about as solid as can be. And now that everything is tight in there, we can mount the other accessories on there. First, let's put it on a tripod. Now my tripod has an Arca Swiss mount on it already. 
so it's quite easy to mount the Arca Swiss bottom of the plate onto the tripod and it goes in there nice and solid right away and then we can take the top handle and slide that onto the NATO rail on top pushing down the guide use a lever to tighten it then we can do the same thing with the handle on the side now you'll notice I'm trying to do this from the top but it actually works a little bit better from the bottom slide that up from there and then tighten the lever as well and once that's done you'll see how quickly everything was put together and the camera is ready to go now one thing that's quite handy for you to do is to slide the side handle up so that it's level with the bottom of the cage that way if you put it down it uh, won't fall over now let's take it off the tripod and you can see right there I have an easy way to hold it with the handle I don't normally like to use the top handle and the side handle together just because it's a bit lopsided if you use both but this shows you how it is set up now if you have an HDMI cable to put in so that you can connect an external monitor you'll see that my HDMI adapter is on the side I'll just unscrew that first it's a little easier to open the door actually it's the only way to open the door so you open that up and then you can screw that adapter back into the side don't tighten it all the way you just leave it open enough and that will allow you to slide the HDMI cable in and then tighten it up until everything's tight then it's actually strong enough to hold the cable with the weight of the camera on it I don't suggest you do that but just to show you how it's held on nice and tight and there you go, a nice easy setup for that. Now let's take a look at what you do when you want to put this whole rig away. This is the reason why I got the NATO rails for the top handle and the side handle. You notice that this rig won't go into the bag on its own as it is right now. So as you can see within a few seconds you can pop off the top rail, you can take off the side handle, and you can just throw them into your bag and everything's nice and compact again and it fits right into a small bag. Nice and easy, ready to go. So there you have it. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about the cage that you're using, or if there's anything you do or don't like about the smog that I didn't cover here. If you found this video interesting or useful in any way, please feel free to give me a like, and also subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and enjoy the rest of this winter. Try not to get sick. See you later.